at DevOps 2015. I'm joined by Michael Hopper. Thank you very much for joining us, Michael. Hi. And can you introduce yourself? Yeah, so um, I'm a computer scientist at the University of Frankfurt, and I'm doing my PhD work um, related to uh, visual programming concepts for uh, complex uh, simulation workflows. So, and I use a lot of Java technology to accomplish that. And so people, I think, probably familiar with you at a few DevOps conferences, you bring your 3D printers. Yeah, exactly. So we stuff. are printing exciting stuff, and we also use these uh, visual programming environments to create uh, nice uh, 3D geometries and, uh, yeah. So that we print them and build small robots and just cool stuff, yeah. So what are the coolest things that you built? Um, so depending, I mean, the one cool thing is um, actually a fabric-like uh, object that you can actually move when you take it out of the printer. And then also I built a drone. So I printed the drone arms. They um, replicate a bird's bone, basically, from the inner structure. So and that really shows where 3D printing can go, and that it's really usable today. Yeah, already. definitely be helpful. Probably save some money for some people at this conference, judging from the drone racing last night. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we can print new drones. <laughs> and what are the challenges when it comes to 3D printing as a programmer? Uh, as a programmer, it's. Um, you want to create stuff, right? So yeah, complex geometries, and uh, I came to the conclusion it's better to do that by programming. And um, so it's uh, the problem is writing an algorithm and still having a visual idea of what you're getting out of that. So that's kind of the challenge there, so yeah. And on the side of your PhD and your university yeah. work, you've got an exciting project that you've been working yeah. on that we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that's uh, actually, so I have a project called VRL Studio. So we have um, a visual programming environment that uses um, um, the Java Reflection API to automatically generate user interfaces from that. And I want to make uh, programming much more interactive and keep um, basically the visual programming and the text-based programming in, in sync so that you really can do stuff in the text-based programming environment and move it to the visual and the other way around so you don't have these distinct phases. So when when actually programming started in uh, like the 50s, 60s or whenever, people had these punch cards and it was a completely non-interactive process to do programming. And then you wrote the program basically by editing these punch cards manually, and then you fed them to the computer, and then you had to load the compiler and do that. And when we moved from that to um, interactive editing, that was a rev revolution. And now I want to bring that um, to a level where we can even do visual programming, but it compiles at runtime and also keeps in sync with the actual text-based representation. So bringing it from the 90s into the 21st yeah, century. Yeah, in a way, because... Deserve. Yeah, so um, uh, the, the thing is that with uh, the visual programming editors that we use today, the ideas are quite old, like 90s or even earlier. And they have a representation like XML files, and you do specialized um, interfaces for that, but you don't de do general purpose programming in that and you cannot mix both concepts. And that's what I want to accomplish with Bring this all. paradigmic shift, which is kind of well, well overdue. Yeah, it, yeah, of, yeah. and also, um, at the moment, we use uh, a lot of Groovy to do that. So we, we, we get the AST from the Groovy compiler and um, add this to the visualization. And, um, but we are also looking into extending that to uh, Java and other uh, popular languages. So, because it's actually um, a concept and not a product that, that we sell or something. So. And what stage are you at with this project? Is it very early days? So, VRL Studio can be downloaded already. So, the visual reflection thing already works great. We have it out for link several. Below. <laughs> yeah, link below exactly, and um, it's just it's open source. You can just download it. And also, the other parts are uh, in the GitHub repository. Um, so the really language model parts that I'm currently working on. But these are more, yeah, we don't have end user applications for that. So you can compile it and work with it. And yeah, just drop us a line if you're interested in it. And it could also be interesting to work with language uh, developers together, because we we also try to add uh, new paradigms to uh, the programming model that you could incorporate into the, the actual language. So if you have visual programming in mind. And well, we like follow, it's good to following the progress on that. Definitely sounds like a promising idea. Yeah. 
Thank uh, you very much for chatting to us today. Yeah. Thanks for the interview. Yeah.